This is a Creality Autolite scanner and as well as being able to scan with features it will scan with marker dots. Marker dots allow you to scan things like, like this coffee cup for instance with no features or this rainwater hopper. I thought it's somewhere in the UK, it's not raining today, let's fetch the hopper down and scan it for a bit of fun for this video. So if you want to see how the Creality Autolite scanner gets on scanning these two items then stick around because I'm going to show you the way that I do it. The way marker dot scanning works is the little dots that are placed out either on the decoys or on the, uh, the item itself reflect the light back to the scanner. The scanner must be able to see four or five of these at any one time. And because they're put out randomly, the scanner then records where they are and it knows exactly where it is in 3D space. So even if you put hundreds and hundreds of dots out there, as long as they're all random, the scanner by looking at say four or five of them at any one particular moment in time knows where it is. So therefore it can tr keep track of the item that it's scanning. These are actually my favorite decoy. And the reason they're my favorite is because it's got like one, two, three angles to it. So therefore, if the scanner is on the top, it's perfectly in line with that dot. And as you come round, it's perfectly in line with that dot. Drop low, it's perfectly in line with that dot. And then you can have one on the base as well, which is perfectly in line with that dot. So as you're scanning all the way around, at least one of the dots will be perpendicular to the scanner, which helps it scan. These are good for the edges of the turntable. So let's say we put that over there at the edge of the turntable and the items in the middle as it passes round. You can pick up the marker dots at the edge. So now we know all that, let's set up for the scan of the coffee cup. I'm not going to put any marker dots on this coffee cup. I'm going to use decals all the way down the outside of it. I'm going to be using these, the down ones, my favourites. I've got a magnet in the bottom, so therefore I can just stick them onto this metal plate, which stops them sliding all over the place and I'm spinning the turntable around. The decals are actually on the turntable. On my metal plate, so they won't actually move around when I'm spinning the, the, the turntable around. So, coffee cup. We'll start off with a global marker scan. This will basically scan all the dots on the decoys and build up a map for scanning later. So, let's start by rotating the turntable slowly and scanning all the dots, making sure that I get them all in at different angles. Hold the scanner down low to get the ones on the sides. Making sure that you do a full revolution. And slowly bring it up. Making sure that you've got all the dots in. And we'll press stop. Now we'll go to Point Cloud, click OK to that, place our coffee cup in the middle of the dots, preview, and there we go. So now I've just got to make sure that I keep the dots in frame as well as the item to be scanned. The dots are being used to track and the coffee cup is being scanned. Now then, keeping them in the frame, if I was to go to point upwards, you see, I'm pointing upwards now so none of the dots are in frame, so there's not enough markers, needs four. Come down, there they're in, in, the, uh, in the frame now. Obviously now to get the top in, I need to come up at a steep angle. Come right at the top now. Still got the dots in underneath. Now stop and have a look at that is. And as you can see, let's scan that really well. There's going to be places underneath there, look, that I haven't got to yet. 
which would be done if we were to flip it over. But for the purpose of this video, I think that'll do. So, let's complete that scan. Let's chop off the bits of that need. <laughs> Let's mesh it. There you go. Markers outside the coffee cup. You've been able to scan it. Okay, the rain hopper. This is going to be a bit more of a challenge to do this. But, as you can see, I've placed the marker dots all over the, uh, the item itself. I'm not going to put any decoys around the outside. I've just left them purely on here. Now then, I didn't do these on camera because it's a little bit boring. But basically, what I've tried to do there is, I've tried to have it so that there are at least four or five in shot at any one time. Now these sides are easy because there's more than five there. There's more than five there, and so on and so on, and even in the inside. But the problem you get is, is when you actually do the global mark, is when you transition from one side to the next, so when you start to go around the corner. So as you start to go around this corner, as you can see, you've got to have the dots closer to the corner, so you can still get five in shot as you go around. So that works. And then that works and obviously as you come over to the base as well you've got to get so many in shot the challenging part on this will be when you transition from the outside to the inside so what i've tried to do here is i've tried to put dots close to the edge so then when the scanner looks you can see three pop up on the inside as well here so you'll be scanning those there then and it'll just pop over then you'll see those in the distance and the same on this one dots towards the edge pop over there and you can see dots the edge of the other side which will then lead the scanner in to scanning the inside to build up the global marker scan so that being said then let's start it off over to the computer Start a new project, Rain Hopper. We want to do a global marker, medium, preview. Leaving it on auto and we're scanning. We're going to scan as many dots as we can. The secret when you go around the corners is to come out a little bit. So you just get a little bit further away than you probably would normally and then it'll go around the corner so in close again now to get those in there and just as you come to the corner just come away a little bit if it says you've lost markers just back off and then come around the corner and see how it's built up them around the corner then okay so we've built up there then now and they start to go up a little bit and see how you've got a couple just popping in on the back get a bit closer so you've got the ones on the front and the ones on the back all in play lost a few markers so let's come back to somewhere we know maybe there a little bit and then go over the top and see if you can build them up down that back wall and as soon as you get a few more in that back wall you can then start to scan it and start picking up the dots okay i'll speed this up a little bit now then for you and i'll bring you back when i've done it all <laughs> So 
I'm just doing a last sweep now then. Just a last sweep of everything. Just to make sure I've got all the dots in. Getting a little bit closer, maybe. Just to make sure I've picked up every last dot. Okay, so let's stop the global marker scan. And let's have a look at what we got. You can roughly see the box there, the shape of it. Make sure you haven't got a stray one in the middle of nowhere, causing us a problem. Now we click on point cloud. And now we're into scanning. Now, wherever I point this now, as long as I've got four or five markers in shot at any one time, on the inside, on the base, anywhere, it should know where it is. So let's start the scan. And as you can see, it's building it up nicely. I mean, look how quick that's happening. It's a good surface, to be fair, to scan. With it being quite dull. And non-reflective. But this auto light, it really does scan well. And when you've got something like this with these marker dots as well. It's just brilliant. Now as I go over the top, you see, okay, it's filling up the inside now. That's just brilliant. And it's filling it up because of these global markers. It knows exactly where they are. Okay, I'm just going to go into a bit more detail then just to get a good scan. And I'll speed it up for you. Pause it there, let's have a look how we are. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good indeed. There's a couple of places up these corners which are still pinkish. But I think that's just the nature of the scanner there to uh, to get in there. But let's just have another quick go. So where is it then? It's over the back corner there. See if I can get in the corner. Just got to get it just at the right angle until you see the dark green in the corner. But the beauty of this global marker scanning is it it knows exactly where is where it is. It knows exactly where it is on the uh, on the item because of those four to five markers that are in shot at the, time, at the same time. I think that'll do it. So let's stop. Let's have another look. See how I'm doing. I think that's great. So let's complete the scan. Clear out some rubbish. <laughs> Fuse is at point three. Took quite a while actually because it was uh, it's quite big. I mean, that, yeah, that's four million, four million points. That is. Just shows you how big these things get. And that was uh, fused at point three as well. And as you can see, look at it. It's great. Absolutely great. Hopefully those dots where the markers have been on will be taken out automatically with the software during the meshing stages. 
So, let's mesh it. Process. Mesh. Let's mesh it to 2 million. Just to save a little bit of space on my computer. And as you can see, it's taken away all the dots. Right, this is my normal work plan now. Let's uh, export it as an STL to the desktop. And let's open it up in Mesh Mixer. And here we are in Mesh Mixer. And as you can see, what a great scan that is. What a great scan. There's a marker dot there, look, which hasn't uh, hasn't been taken out properly. I think it's probably because it's near the edge. But that wouldn't be too difficult to flatten off if you needed to. The scan has got into that bore there nicely. It hasn't gone down too far, but then again, that's just the limitations of the scanner. Let's have a look inside. I mean, look at that. The lip on the edge is lovely, the way it goes across there. The mounting holes, that's a bit, um, missed a little bit there on that mounting bracket on the right. But what a beautiful scan. What a beautiful scan indeed. So, scanning the hopper then with the global marker scan. I think you'll agree it came out really well with the Creality Auto Light Scanner. Can I just ask you if you like what you've seen today, please like the video and subscribe. I'll be making more content with this uh, Creality Auto Light Scanner and I'm soon to be taking delivery of the Creality Samoon S1 Scanner the laser scanner, the new one, and I'll be making a load of videos on that. So please subscribe and then you'll be guaranteed to see that content.